Hello and welcome. In this video I'll show you how to do the most basic test on your lithium ion battery. In this case I'll be focusing on this DeWalt 18V 5.0 XR battery. What you need for the test is a multimeter. And you have to set the multimeter to DC voltage. The most basic multimeter will do from good to bad it doesn't make any difference as long as it tests voltage it doesn't have to test anything well important just for the basic test you know you put the red wire in the positive and you put the black wire in the negative and all these batteries are clearly marked like that the first test itself doesn't uh, involve opening the battery it just involves finding out what voltage is coming out the top this is an 18 volt battery and it should range between 17 to 20 volts roughly speaking if it's healthy depending on the amount of charges in it as you can see this one's only achieving 13.3 which is way way too low which shows me there's a problem and here with that test completed what we have to do is disconnect that and get the battery open to see what's going on and find out where and why this has fallen short you need a TX10 security torque to open these batteries. There's just four screws in the bottom here. You can take them out with a ordinary screwdriver or security torque like this, you know. And in these XR DeWalt, there's just four long screws like this. It's quite simple, you know. With the four screws removed, you can just slip the top off now. There's a little spring, don't lose it. Once you get in there, you can see just the top of the battery and all the connections. And I'm going to show you how to detect where the problem is. Really, when you open this, the important thing is to check the connections when you're here. That's had a bit of heating, but it's still connected. That's the first thing you should check there. That one's actually still intact. You check all the wee little connections all the way round, you know. You see if there's any even small breaks, just enough to cause you an issue. But that one seems okay at the top. You can measure from the top here. Just to see. But what we're going to do is pull the battery out of the casing. Pull the pack out of the casing. And the... Uh, just individual banks of cells in. With this side of the pack you can see very rusty, very corroded. However, in spite of all that, the battery pack's still intact, everything's connected the way it should be. This pack contains 10 cells and 5 banks of 2. Basically these two you can see plus plus is there so that's connected in parallel and it goes plus minus sorry minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so each bank is connected to the other banks in series so that's how you achieve your voltage so the cells these cells um are 18650 cells and they range between 3.5 volts roughly to 4.2 if the voltage is healthy depending on the level of charge if you connect the two together in parallel like this the voltage stays the same but the milliamps raises so these are 2500 milliamp cells and two of them connected is 5000 milliamps so you get a 3.6 basically 5000 milliamp and then as you wire in series every one you add the voltage goes up all right the second part of the test we need to use a little multimeter again we use this bigger one it's got a bigger screen it's easier to see i went from a very low price multimeter to a bigger price multimeter but both will do the job it doesn't make any difference whatever you have as long as it tests voltage that's all you need
Let's stick little labels in the bottom of the banks of cells to show you what's on them. So we start off up here from plus to minus 3.58. And I'll show you how to identify the plus side of the cell. I'll show you in this old one. Um, this one exactly the same one of that one's got. That's what voltage that one has on it. Um, that's the plus side and that's the minus side. That's how you know the difference. So as we identified this first one's got 3.58. 3.58 volts. And we'll go for number two and we'll try and get the polarity right because um reverse the reverse the probes to get the plus voltage on your multimeter because it's going from plus to minus minus plus plus minus you know that kind of way 3.5 3 a little bit lower, but not significantly so. The reason why I'm changing around the probes is not that it'll affect the reading that we get. If we put them on the wrong way, we'll get a minus voltage on the multimeter. And I don't like that because sometimes these... It's important to know what end of the cell you're measuring. Because sometimes these cells, when they go bad, they can reverse polarity. That's 3.537. So again, not too bad. Not too much of a difference. Not that I would say, not enough to be a problem. Let's see what we got here now. Just getting a bad connection there, hang on. There, three point five eight five. So again, good voltage, very similar. Not a lot of difference. This end cell now. A lot of time, it is the end bank of cells that fail in these. Getting the connection is going to be the problem because this is very rusty. I'll we'll get something. Let's see. Here we are. There we are. Even with the connection and the polarity red, it's showing minus 0.52 of a volt. So that's our problem bank there in the end. So it's showing minus, it has reverse polarity. Minus 0.52 volts, so that's bad. So it's important for this pack to be healthy when it's discharged. that the cells aren't below 3.5 and are all fairly equal. So as you can see, this one's a bad bank of cells. So these two cells need replaced. Um, cells usually feel together. They feel um, the one that's, that's uh, connected to in parallel brings down the other one. So it's usually just throw those away, recycle them and Replace them with another pair if you can get them. That's a that's a different video for another day. Uh, that's how to identify what's wrong with your lithium ion DeWalt XR battery with a multimeter. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.